Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and one constitutional law expert, he said Biden just got caught red-handed. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. You know, Biden's story about his son Hunter Biden's business dealings, what he knew, what he didn't know, how involved he was, it has evolved over time. As you remember, it started with, he didn't know anything. Didn't know anything about the deals. Then, of course, it became, well, he knew, but he wasn't involved in them. And then it's now a matter of, well, how involved was he in them? So, the, the and then, well, we've kept the same stance from the beginning. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. And so now, what they're saying is, the Democrats, if you can't produce a smoking gun, that shows money directly went from basically Hunter Biden to Joe Biden. If you can't produce that, then this impeachment inquiry is over. You have nothing. But that's not really true. See, Jonathan Turley says there is a smoking gun. And he said Biden clearly lied. And he's going to explain to you how Biden clearly lied in this video. So I want you to watch it and listen carefully. Because this is all the media, the Biden administration, Biden himself, they're trying to obfuscate from this. From the blatant lies that Joe Biden has told, in particular, one blatant lie that Joe Biden has told. So please watch it, and then like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. There will be action on that. Okay, so to the point of whether the impeachment inquiry uh, is winding down, what's happening there, um, Ian Sams over the White House said this in a posting to X. Uh, Comer knows 20 plus witnesses have testified that POTUS did nothing wrong. He knows that the hundreds of thousands of pages of records he's received have refuted his false allegations. This is a sad stunt at the end of a dead impeachment. Call it a day, pal. Yeah, I, I thought it was quite shocking to see that level of taunting of the uh, House. This is one of the most important things that the Congress and a president can be involved in, an impeachment inquiry. And actually, when I testified in the Biden impeachment hearing, I noted that Sam's and others might be tripping some wires here. This is what got the Nixon White House in trouble, is when the White House counsel and other offices got involved in the narrative. There are serious questions here. There are 10 questions presented. He doesn't have to appear to answer them. But the president stands contradicted. I mean, he clearly lied when he said that he had no knowledge of his son's business dealings. He was also clearly aware of an influence peddling scheme, and he was the focus of it. And what the Democrats have done successfully is created this false narrative that he has to receive money directly for this to be corruption or bribery. Federal courts have rejected that. They've said repeatedly that money going to family members is corruption, can be cr crimes like bribery. But are they going to answer these questions? No, the president would rather drink molten lead than answer any one of these questions. Uh, should he? Of course he should, because he stands contradicted and the public has a right to know. But I think all of us, if we were his attorneys, would tell him not to answer any of those <laughs> questions. We probably agree on that.